Stage two of the Tour of the Alps. We were heading into the mountains proper. A shortest stage to date, but with 2,640 meters of elevation all packed into the final 70 Ks. A flat start, including the intermediate sprint at around 30 Ks as we headed through the valley in an easterly direction. And then we had the double ascent of the Pillar Satel. The first ascent on the slightly shallower side before the drop down into the valley and then buck up the savagely steep Kaunagrat, the steeper side of this climb before dropping down again and then heading up the valley to Feichten im Kaunatal. And that is the profile today. As you can see, a distinct stage of two different halves with all the climbs packed into a very, very challenging second half. A six man breakaway dominated proceedings. They were reduced to five. And then we saw the emergence of this young talent, Ruben Thompson of New Zealand, 20 years of age, actually riding for the FDJ Continental team, giving his chance. And he's been given a chance to shine riding for the World Tour squad. We showed his worth by taking maximum points over the first ascent of the Pillar Satel, and he took with him David Bayes. Felix Engelhardt took third. He also took the intermediate sprint, securing his place in the intermediate sprint jersey. But meanwhile behind, a ferocious pace was being set by Arkea Samzik, trying to set up Nairo Quintana. And the pace that was being set behind ate very, very quickly into the lead of Bayes and Thompson. And before, well before the top of the climb, they were drawn in. It was winner Anna Konet sending a ferocious pace and teeing up Nara Quintana. The attack was an expected one, and when it came, it was devastating. Stringing out the bunch with big gaps starting to appear. This in turn saw Simon Yates put in his own attack, which broke the peloton even more. And he drew with him Hugh Carthy. Nara Quintana, meanwhile, just behind our race leader, Gianni Moscon, was starting to suffer and losing ground rapidly. This man was on a flyer of a day. Simon Yates, hunting his first victory of the year, accelerated clear again, taking with him defending champion Pavel Sivakov, and in the process, distancing Nara Quintana and Hugh Carthy. And then with about two kilometers to the top of the climb, seated, he put in another violent acceleration which the Russian just could not follow. Yates absolutely flying, taking maximum points over the second descent of the Pillar Satel before the plummet down into the valley road and the gradual rise to the line in Figton. I'm Kaunatal. Meanwhile, the chase behind, Huck Hukarthy and Nori Quintana had joined Pavel Sivakov. But in the meantime, Yates had carved himself a very nice lead indeed of 45 seconds. And then there was a chase group which was being led by Dan Martin of Israel Startup Nation. Also in there was Jai Hindley of Team DSM. Also in the mix, Roman Bardet as well, having a very, very good day. And these rapid accelerations ate into the lead briefly of Simon Yates. And as we neared the finish and the road continued to rise, several groups tried to go clear, including this one, with Jefferson Cepeda, the young Ecuadorian on the left-hand side in the red for Androni Giocatzli. Vlasov was there in the blue, as well as Jai Hindley and Pavel Sivakov. But undeterred, still leading with a gap with five kilometers to go of 50 seconds was Simon Yates thinking only of one thing, and that was victory today. The defending champion was also feeling very good indeed. He accelerated clear on another steep section heading towards the finish, dislodging Jefferson Cepeda putting himself in a position to fight for the win, but he could not close the gap on an absolutely flying Simon Yates, who with one kilometer to go, enjoyed a lead of 40 seconds back to the Russian, and then a further 20 seconds back to the chasing group. But it was to be the day for Simon Yates, his first victory of the year, and he took it in fine style. The two arms eventually there for Yates, a wonderful second place, a strong second place for Pavel Sivakov and a six second time bonus as well. And then the sprint for third place was taken by resurgent Dan Martin of the Israel Startup Nation. Ahead of Vlasov and Cepeda. And that was your top 10. Yates from Sivakov, Martin, Vlasov, Cepeda, Hindley, Carthy, Schultz, Bardet and Aguero rounding out the top 10 at one minute and 42 seconds. It was delight all round. Win number three for Team Bike Exchange and the green jersey of race leader 
for this man, Simon Yates, who's looking good ahead of the Giro d'Italia. Who's looking good ahead of the Giro d'Italia. And that is the situation. Yates will lead into stage three from Sivakov Martin, Vlasov Cepeda, Hindley, Carthy, Schultz, Guero, and Pelo Bilbao, rounding out your top 10.